It was Friday night, and in the middle of the blackness, I could see a glow about a mile off. I ended up getting in my car, driving over there, and all sorts of cars were pulling into the parking lot. It was Friday night. It was football season, and it was really one of the only things for us to do on a Friday night was go see a football game. We were decent as a football team, but most of us went there to cheer our school on and be able to visit with friends. And while we're there, of course, during the midst of the game, it might be a tight, a tight game, and then there would be this one guy that would get out on the field with this massive flag of our mascot, the Panthers. And he would go up and down the sidelines of that field with this huge flag and rally us on to be able to cheer our team on to victory. And there was something just a, so amazing and fun about it. We end up seeing it today in our own stadiums, football stadiums, baseball stadiums, where we end up unraveling a massive flag, the American flag, and it rallies us around together this idea of victory, that we are united under one flag. Well, this idea of a flag isn't a new one. It's actually an old one, which we're going to take a look at today. Well, thanks for joining us for The Daily Dose. My name is Trent Jenkins. I'm one of our pastors here at North Coast Church, and we're taking a look at the names of God. And today we're focusing in on Jehovah Nisi. You're like, Jehovah what? Jehovah Nisi. And the meaning is, the Lord is my banner. We look at Exodus chapter 17, and Moses is there, and they're fighting the Amalekites. And he's up on top, and he tells Joshua to go out. And he says, I will raise my hands up, and as long as my hands are raised, we will have victory. His hands would stop, start to, to drop, and uh, all of a sudden the Amalekites would end up going against them. So Aaron and Hur ended up holding up Moses' hands to where Joshua routed out the enemy. He was raising his hands to God, ultimately asking him for victory during that battle. And at the end of it, he says this at, in Exodus 17:15. Moses built an altar and called it, the Lord is my banner. And the Hebrew there, it says Jehovah Nisi. The Lord is my banner. And so what does that mean, the Lord is my banner? Well, today we call them flags, but back in the day they were known as banners. And they would rally around this banner for victory. It would be claiming their victory. It would be a matter of that we are showing ourselves as a people and he says, no, 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 long, no longer is it about my flag. The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my victory. And I will rally my people and myself and my spirit around the Lord because he is ultimately the one that will give me victory. I want to encourage you today that as you go about your day and your week, where are you trying to get victory? Where is there an obstacle that maybe is in your way? Maybe it's a person, maybe it might be an addiction or a thought process, some sort of character trait that you wanna change. And you'd say, I don't know how I'm gonna get victory. And we go to every self-help book and there's a lot of wisdom in there and I encourage you to get help and counseling or maybe seeking a book or advice from a friend. But ultimately, are we going to God and saying, God, you are my source of victory. I will rally my spirit and my actions around you and you alone because he is ultimately the one that will be able to defeat our enemy. In Ephesians chapter 6, it says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, that there is a spiritual battle. And then in Romans 8, it says this. It says, what then shall we say in response to all these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? And it says, no, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, or demons, neither the present, nor the future, or any other powers will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is found in Christ Jesus. He is the one that gives us victory. And I want to encourage you today, you can have victory over whatever that element is in your life. I want to encourage you to submit that to Jesus Christ. Let him be the person to be able to give you wisdom and counsel and guidance so that you can get past the hurts and the obstacles and the pains and be able to experience freedom, freedom that he would love to have for you. Thanks for joining us today.